are live. All right, gang. Here we are, back on the old soapbox. And it was a little bit over a week, so apologize for the uh, delay. But we are, um, we're here. We're cranking. We're diving into it. Um, hope everyone's doing well. I really uh, appreciate the feedback. Appreciate the, you know, I think uh, I'm getting a lot of emails and DMs and stuff like that about the podcast. So um, I really appreciate that. And it's cool to watch like the listens of older podcasts going up. And um, sometimes I I look back and it's cool to see which, which topics are the most popular versus not. Um, but obviously, I, I try not to let that sway what I want to talk about because the podcast is, you know, I would say selfishly more therapeutic for me than anything else um, and hopefully in turn you, you're finding some value for it. whatever I'm passionate about what I want to hop on but for those of you that don't listen often obviously I just get on a, a topic and we go try to keep it under 20 minutes so it's palatable and digestible so what are we talking about today um, I want to talk about our uh, uh, the dad sesh I've had a lot of questions about the dad sesh a lot of people asking to join it uh, what is it like and, and, and what does that look like so I want to get some insight, history, what we do, why we do it, um, and then really just the philosophies behind it um, and why why myself, Paul Tremblay, and Craig Kenny started a program because basically we started because people were asking for it. It was, it's, it was that simple. Um, and we have a, we're uniquely positioned to, you know, deliver programming to people um, with, with relative ease because of the platforms that we have access to. So, um, so where are we at? Um, the dad sesh, it started out, so we're, the history of the dad sesh, right? So obviously myself, um, Paul, and Craig, we are fathers. Uh, we own gyms, and we and we all have our own programs, and we, you know, and a lot of, you know, and we have also sell programming as well, um, and we do our own programming, but in the beginning of COVID, obviously things really changed, and I think for a lot of us, um, you know, all of our kids were home, couldn't leave, so it really changed how our schedules and routines were like for me personally, it was the only way I could actually work out was before everyone woke up because my days were so busy between either working or watching Haley. So it was wake up at 4.30, work out from five to six. So by 6 a.m., workout's over, you're ready for the day. By 6.15, you're showered, you're ready to rock and roll. And that, and then so, you know, we were just talking and next thing you know, like we just did a, a workout, I believe it was a Saturday workout and we just saw like, hey, let's do this longer workout together. It was like an hour AMRAP um, and just kind of moving through it. And we're like, hey, we should do this more often together. It was just fun. And then we ended up just, you know, I was like, well, I work out at five. And they were like, all right, well, I'm in. And we just did, you know, we called, you know, you know the, the meetings, you know, called five for five at five, five, you know, five days a week, you know, every week, 5 a.m., five for five at five. And that's sort of what's the meeting invite on the Zoom link. And, and we just we, it just started happening, right? And 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 then from there, what it turned into is like, well, obviously, like we all, like, I want to make sure I'm doing the hand plan programming. They, you know, so we would just sort of mash up our stuff together, and we would do a lot within that hour. Um, basically, because we love fitness, we, we probably has you know sort of the self diagnosed fitness dysmorphia where we want you know just getting one little workout and not enough for us. We emotionally want more. Certainly, if we're not going to be able to get a double in, and for a while it was really hard for us to. Now that things have normalized a little bit with daycare and school, a little bit we have a little more of an opportunity to do that. But um, you know, a lot of a lot of time that was their only time to work out during the day. So we would fit a, a significant amount in that hour um, and. Not only that, had some accountability, you know, like, I don't know anyone out there that wakes up early consistently that's like, you know, it's like, well, it's 4 a.m. and it's awesome. Like, there are days where you're like, oh, I don't want to do this. But, you know, having, you know, having that notion that, all right, Paul's up, Craig's up, like, there was no excuse. And every morning, it's easy to wake up or half wake up and, and, and convince yourself that, oh, like, you know, I... I should rest or whatever it might be. And it's so easy. Certainly like for those out there, it's like, oh, like my, my whoop tells me I need to rest today. It's like, well, you know what doesn't matter about rest? Like my, my life. And there are, there were days that, and our days that you just can't work out because life puts you in those positions. So it was less about how you felt or whatever it might be. It was more about what you could actually do. And it's like, all right, Craig's up, Paul's up, let's go. And it motivated us and it's still, and, and, and honestly, we're still doing it now. We're like, gosh, five, six months in doing this. Um, and it was super motivating. And not only that, it was cool because from, a, you know, as a programmer, you know, it's also important to have different perspectives and not be stuck in your own bubble and, and vacuum, which is really easy for programmers to do. Um, you know, it's, 
because we we have so much program in the hand plan for so many different types of of, of athletes and uh, environments that it's so easy to be like there, there's an endless amount but getting input from Paul and Craig also um, and then hopefully you know and, and I can speak for them knowing that my, you know my you know meet to them and to each other not only gives you a different perspective do different workouts but it, it keeps your mind going and I can't tell you how many times we've taken some of those event those workouts and peppered them into the hand plan because obviously that that's what it's about um, so it the dad sesh has ha, had become more of a of a emotional and psychological thing than physical. Um, but the sessions do have a good amount of thought behind them and a few thoughts. And, and again, this is where it's like sort of, I wouldn't say it's for everyone how we do it, but it really works for us. Um, and we don't really like spend a lot of time doing sort of warm ups or accessory work or cool down stuff because like we just don't have the time for that. And that's our decision. Is it the best thing in the world? Who knows? Probably not. For us, who cares, right? But definitely in the colder months, which was in the beginning, and as we're creeping to now, it's we definitely started with more of like monostructural stuff, like row, bike, ski, run, body weight stuff, movement stuff. We'd make sure we that was lower impact because at truly at 5 a.m. you've only been up for a few minutes and it's super cold. You don't want to move a barbell or heavy weight or super complex stuff right off the bat. That doesn't mean you fully write it off, but we definitely wanted to get warm. So that's like that's that's the like philosophy one is that the first one, hopefully, sometimes is a relative warm up. Now not always, but some nice intervals, whatever it might be. Because once you're sweaty, once you're hot. You feel like you can take on the world. Then there's some worked and rest, usually transition, and then we go into another piece. Now, sometimes that you know it's two back-to-back workouts, a couple workouts, longer one, and then sometimes we, like we'll do like accessory work. But usually it's like it's never just eh, get it done. It's like three rounds of you know just slower movement pattern stuff, strict pull-ups, GHD, uh, you know, posterior chain work, farmer's walks, dumbbell rows, you know, things like that, midline work where you're not, you know, L sits, thing, things that are just different from an intensity perspective, certainly if it's going to be on the longer side. So that's important. And that's really the basic philosophy of that. Um, and, and then from there, you know, making sure we learned this early that you, the, 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 the menu, we call it the menu, needs to be fully set the night before because no one wants to do critical thinking and problem solving that early. At least I don't want to. So um, that's something that we learned very early on and we made sure to, to do that. Um, and like anyone, it's just, it, you just want to you want to wake up and be told what to do. That's there's that's why there's programming people out there to, you know, a lot of people are capable of writing workouts, but it's it's the thought process and thinking about it what you don't want to do all the time. So that's um that was just sort of the basic philosophy there. And and then over time it became this sort of inspiration piece for others because we would post about it and other people would, would hit us up and ask us questions about it. And it became pretty clear that and this is a really cool thing. You know, there are some bright spots in social media, right? I think there's so much dark out there right now, certainly in social media. But like, I don't know, I try to look at the positive, you know, like where a lot of people were saying that like, hey, us, you know, doing this inspired them to do it. You know, they would tag us in it or whatever it might be. Hey, you know, we want to do this. People asking about what we do and how we do it. Or we'd post a couple workouts and they would then do it, you know, from a story or something like that. And and we started to talk about, man, like, it people would benefit from this and so that's where the idea came from of like letting people into the programming piece now the challenge is is that you know when we do it it's very it, you one one might even say over programmed uh for certainly you know anyone you know any person out there just with a with a generic fitness ability luckily you know paul myself and craig have similar fitness abilities granted they are very strong so um, it's sometimes demoralizing when we have to move heavy barbells or dumbbells because they move them so quickly. It's hard for me to keep up, but I try. Um, but that's also a thing about it too. Like, the, like there's this notion of like playing up. Like when you see something written, you're like, oh, like I would not want to do that. Like this morning we were benching. I was benching 105 pound dumbbells for for 12 reps for multiple rounds. Like I don't think I would have ever have done that. Stuck with it, not scaled it or changed it on my own and or programmed it so like there's so much like 
there's so much benefit to that. So we don't provide a lot of insight on the programming by design of like how to scale or things like that. So it's a little more of an advanced program from <clears throat> you have to see a workout and make it your own if you can't do something or don't have the equipment. But that's sort of the purpose of the dad sesh. It's like, it's sort of a no questions asked program. <clears throat> and what I mean by that is, and it's not like a, a knock on anyone, but it's sort of like, there's a few things in life that there's, you know, like, like I, I, you know, we have I, in my program we have the affiliate program, right? Which our goal is to leave no stone unturned, and thus it's our it's our marquee program, and the, it's all about coaching, de delivery, implementation, all that stuff. And then at the fully other end of the spectrum, you have this program, and it's sort of like there are certain groups and communities that in order for you to be a part of it, you need to be able to hold your own, and which takes some experience, um, you know doesn't mean that you're done learning, but like in that environment, you just need to be able to, to hang a little bit. Um, and you could talk about that in any community, whether it's, you know, shooting, whatever it might be. There's so many things there. So if, if like, for example, I'm a, I'm a very amateur shooter. So when I go to the gun range, I go with someone that knows what, know, knows what they're doing. They help me out and, and tell me what to do, when to do it. It's just, and it's really liberating because I, I don't have to stress about that. Um, and, but you know, the people that I go with when they, they do way more advanced things that I could do, but that's also more fun for them, right? Like they, you know, they still be, practice the fundamentals and probably working with me is helpful for them, right? But um, they get to, they do other things where it's like, hey, you got to be able to hang, you got to know certain things. And if you can't do something, you need to either, you know, you need to figure it out and you need to have the skill set to be able to do that. And that's sort of what the dad sesh is, is that, you know, you need to be able to figure those things out and but that's the beauty of it and and i know a lot of people that do it you know they're that, that follow along i think it's right where they need to be and it's super fun but it's also super challenging too like you need to be motivated and pushed and challenged and then because a part of also this is inspiration but it's also sort of bunking this 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 bs out there of i'm a dad i'm a parent i'm working and i'm too busy when people tell, like, listen, I know some people that are, are, you know, I know single mothers, single fathers of multiple kids that are working, that their kids are either at home or, or, or you know, at least partially at home given to the, the, the COVID restrictions, and they're trying to maintain their house, their livelihood, their family, their sanity. So th maybe they're too busy, you know, and maybe, right? And, but I would say that that's a, that's not as many people as you think. And it's like, oh, I'm just, you have to wake up earlier, stay up later to get your work done. Like we wake up at 4.30 to get this done and we crank and we try not to ever find an excuse because for us working out's therapeutic and we love it. So another thing you need to realize that not everyone loves it, but also just because you don't love something doesn't make it okay for you to make excuses. And in fact, you have to almost find more motivation for the for those things that are harder for you that that might not come natural right so if you love to cook and you love healthy foods and you love natural stuff like that like it's something a passion of yours it might be easier for you to you know eat healthy and do all that stuff for someone that might hate to cook uh, hate to prepare so if that's the case you need to spend more time on that but it's not an excuse oh i don't have time no like you make time you make things that are important like, like if you and look at your day critically look at your day if you have the time and that's the beauty of it where and that's what we want to highlight in the dad session that literally it takes us from when we walk into the gym to when we close the gym always under an hour in fact usually under 45 minutes so like again we walk we we start the meeting at 5 a.m we usually three two one go between 505 and 509 then from there usually we're wrapped up around 540 so like we're talking 30 minutes of hard work sometimes a little longer sometimes a little shorter but i mean that's 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 set up that's clean up, that's workout in well under an hour. And, you know, if you only did half of that, of, of say what we program in the dad says, I'm pretty sure you'd see some results more than nothing, right? So I, I, that's one of those big things too, is that you got to, for those that have kids out there and all that stuff, like you, I, yes, trust, we all get it, but did you have to, you have to make sure that you're setting yourself up. Now, a supportive partner really does help, but if you don't have a partner, someone that might need be supportive even, is just you have to try to get it done when you can and get it done where it doesn't impede on others. I mean, that's honestly like why I do it where, you know, in the afternoon I could 
work out, you know, and I could say, hey, you know, Marin, watch Haley. And like, I used to do that a little bit, but to be honest with you, I don't want to do that. I want to spend time with Haley. I want to spend time with my wife. That's that's the biggest thing I've learned about uh, from COVID is I really, really enjoy spending time with my family. I also love working. I, I work hard and I work a lot. So I have to balance things. It's not like, you know, my day's not over at five o'clock or whatever it might be. My day starts. Like I start working at 6.30. I work for at least a half an hour, 45 minutes before Haley wakes up. All these things. So I, I do think that the dad session was created for, for people that want to be productive, that are busy, that have passions, but also care about their family. Like, and that's something I really learned, you know, from Craig and from Paul is that, you know, I've, you know, how to be better parents. Cause I watch them and we talk about being parents. They're a little further along in the journey and some, you know, and they have more kids. And so it's fun to learn and listen, but it's so inspiring to be surrounded by people that care about their fitness so much. And we love it and, and, and still have that competitive drive in us. And that's not like, yeah, we're working out more than just for general sustaining fitness, yes. But to be honest with you, there's a lot of people out there that want more than just competency. You want a little more of, you know, maybe dominance, maybe not world dominance, but maybe just dominance well, for whatever that means to you. And that's really what, that's our purpose and goal. Um, we're also not big volume junkies either. Um, and we and like we're like from a fitness perspective. I mean, could we handle uh, uh, the events for the CrossFit Games that are happening this weekend? Probably. You know, like you know, from that perspective, could we handle a CrossFit game style like where it's multiple multiple events in a day? Probably not. We're just out of that type of volume. But you know, from a from a fitness and strength perspective, it's like it's pretty cool to see how good you can get with very very different training volume than what a lot of people think is necessary because we go hard intensity is what drives the results and that's what the, the dad sesh really it has been a, a driver of is intensity and you know you can do low volume stuff but for me for us it's like what well, why why waste our time we're all about efficiency like even when we do heavy lifts it's like let's let's move let's do it on the minute for 10 minutes right like in 10 minutes we can get 30 back squats in at 315 great like but that's kind of what we're looking to do it's a little different than before but man it works um and if you haven't tried it try it but like that's the main philosophy behind the dad session and really it's overarching philosophies that that for me and others you know what matters we're not talking about the competitive athletes but like that it, too many people think volume is really, really important as opposed to intensity, quality of movement, and true variance. Um, and myself, Craig and Paul can attest to that, that like we're still you know, right where we need to be from a fitness perspective, very close to the tip of the spear from where we've been, um, if not fitter in some aspects. So volume doesn't mean results. How you do workouts matters more than anything else and who you do them with to push you matters, right? Check. And that's that trickles all the way down the quality of movement. All of these things matter. And, and then also there from a philosophy perspective is that hard work gets results. You need to be consistent. Consistency is important. That's why you need an accountability group. So you need someone. That's what group fitness is about. That's, what, that's why we tell everyone to take class, no matter how good you are, is that you need people around you to motivate you, inspire you, to in entertain you, to enjoy the process. So make sure that you're with somebody or a group of people that make you accountable, um, that make you consistent. And that's another huge aspect of this. Is that no one's in this alone. So... That's another big piece is of accountability with one another. And and then from there, it just got to be fun. Working out shouldn't be super serious. In the moment, it's hard. It sucks. But like you got to enjoy the process. You have to be, be in it with people there. And that's helpful. Certainly, if you, you're not motivated, like it's got to be fun. Um, and motivation, certainly for those that might be home a little more, they're not around their normal gym or whatever it might be, um, is a little harder to find. So make this stuff fun. Enjoy the process. But... That's the dad sesh. And, you know, it's less of a pitch to buy the dad sesh because I think that it's it's for, you know, a, a smaller group of people. We just have it out there for people if they want to follow along, go ahead. Um, but really just the philosophy that I think if it, I would love to impart on so many people that, hey, wake up early, get your work done and spend time on what matters. If that's working, if that's with your family, if that's other things, but like get in get it done and then get out like that's what it's about like and, and it doesn't have to be super complex super sexy just do crossfit and crank on it and work hard you know throw some stuff in there that you might not normally do but that's what it's about have fun the dad says really you know it can, it's a mom sesh it's a anyone sesh we call it dad sesh because we're dads but if you're like i know a bunch of moms that do it so um anyone out there that needs some level of inspiration in a time-bound window, that's what the sesh is for you. Put whatever word before you'd like. That's a, that one's interchangeable. So guys, work hard, have fun, appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next week.